you have been buried with Christ in baptism, through which you also rose again, by faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. In this Mass, we pray for all clergy during this lockdown. This Mass has been requested by Julian and Jason for all priests, especially those who are experiencing loneliness and probably those who are sick or who are also vulnerable, we pray for them. And to celebrate this Mass worthily, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who, through the regenerating power of baptism, have been pleased to confer on us heavenly life, grant, we pray, that those you render capable of immortality by justifying them, may by your guidance attain the fullness of glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Cilicia, Paul went to David and then on to Lystra, where there was a disciple called Timothy, whose mother was a Jewess, who had become a believer. But his father was a Greek. The brothers at Lystra and Iconium spoke well of Timothy and Paul who wanted to have him as a traveling companion, had him circumcised. This was an account of the Jews in the locality where everyone knew his father was a Greek. As they visited one town after another, they passed on the decisions reached by the apostles and elders in Jerusalem with instructions to respect them. So the churches went strong, grew strong in the faith as well as growing daily in numbers. They traveled through Phrygia and the Galatian country, having been told by the Holy Spirit not to preach the word in Asia. When they reached the frontier of Mesa, they thought to cross into Bithynia, but, on the, but as the Spirit of Jesus would not allow them, they went through Mysia and came down to Troas. One night, Paul had a vision. A Macedonian appeared and appealed to him in these words, Come across to Macedonia and help us. Once he had seen this vision, he lost no time in arranging a passage to Macedonia, convinced that God had called us to bring them the good news. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love, 
He is faithful from age to age. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven where Christ is sitting at God's right hand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, remember that it hated me before you. If you belonged to the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you do not belong to the world, because my choice withdrew you from the world, Therefore the world hates you. Remember the words I said to you, A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you too. If they kept my word, they will keep yours as well. But it will be on my account that they will, all, they will do all this, because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And if sometimes you just feel discouraged about life and about people, especially when you notice that someone, for just no reason, doesn't like you. Probably you hear nasty things said behind you, how do you feel? I feel terrible sometimes when I hear those things. Or do you think about a situation where Christianity is being trampled upon today? People don't want us to talk about Jesus publicly. They don't want to share, they don't want us to share the good news of Jesus with them. But they are free to share with us what they think and what they feel about life. Why is it so? The words of Jesus in the gospel today speaks to us. Do not be troubled. Do not be worried. If the world hates you, if people hate you, they hated Jesus first. And so, how should we respond? when we face these challenges. Because this is one of the things that can make us troubled, that can be a source of worry for us when we are not loved or when we feel not loved by others, especially the ones we feel should actually show us great love. It could be even family members or very close friends. The good news today is do not let your heart be troubled. Relax, be calm. Jesus was treated this way. He was hated by his close friends, by those who loved him, by those who he thought loved him, who were going after him. His own people betrayed him. They crucified him. Why should I be worried when I can look up to Jesus and draw my strength from him? Lord, give me the strength and the grace to look up to you when I'm troubled. O Mary, you shine continuously along our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross were near to the pain of Jesus, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of the Roman people, know what we need. 
and we trust that you will provide for those needs so that as at Cana of Galilee, joy and celebration may return after this moment of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the will of the Father and to do what Jesus tells us. He who took our sufferings upon himself and took up our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We seek refuge under your protection. O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our pleas, we who are put to the test, and deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your, of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and judge our apostolic administrator and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Father, I pray for them, that they may be one in us, 
so that the world may believe it was you who sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. I will sing a hymn to Mary, the mother of my God, the virgin of all virgins, of David's role. 